Hello players, my name is Andy, I'm the creator of Event Horizon Gaming and today we're gonna be playing Watcher of Realms and we're gonna be talking about the new Crowder Fusion, so let's get started. So, Crowder, so as you can s probably n already know, Crowdor is going to be our next legendary summon, but it's going to be rather different than usual, right? Because usually we would gather these uh, so-called shards, or <laughs> they look like puzzle pieces over here. <coughs> and um, we would use these to actually um, get a free legendary, or a free skin, or a free epic lore, like we usually can get uh, or we could get uh, Lunaria or Aeon or Isolde, even Vladov and Pyrus were in the Epic Lord uh, Shard summon. So this time um, Crowdor can actually be summoned uh, through Hero Fusion. So this is rather different because we would be able to get Crowdor if we manage to get to um, five star and five promotion stars um, Draga, right? And if we get four of Dragas, we can get one Crowdor. So this is rather different because this doesn't necessarily only imply doing um, Oracle trials and completing events because usually this is what you would do, right? To get uh, the shards that we would normally get like I showed you before. This is what was used for Silas skin, this is what was used for Alistar. So, um, this is rather different. So, is this better or is this worse? I would argue this is actually a bit, uh, a bit worse. Um, why is it a bit worse? Because this implies that uh, it's going to be harder to actually um, obtain it or not necessarily because you will do, have to do a lot more content but you will have to use a lot more resources because of um, of the um, actual way it works so as you can already figure out you don't actually need to just get the shards you would actually have to get four go grands and then for one draga and that means that you would need 16 go grands for four dragas in order to get one crowdor so that's not going to be just it because on top of that you'll also have to upgrade Crowdo uh, Gograr for to um, promotion level 4 so 4 star him and uh, 4 promotions and then do that 16 times and to get one level 1 Draga and then upgrade Draga to one uh, star up and then um, promote her to five stars so do that four more times and that's going to actually mean you get one crowder so this is rather more resource heavy right because in order to promote the heroes you will have to farm promotion rates in order to farm promotion rates you would actually need stamina in order to have enough stamina you will have to buy huge stamina potions so if you didn't save or if you used your huge stamina potions in the recent uh, gear rate frenzy for gear rate 3 most probably you don't have so many stamina potions huge stamina potions so what does that mean for the game i think it means that not necessarily this is going to be bad or that this is going to be how the game is going to work uh, forever I think this means that this is just how Moonton is trying to experiment on um, as to how we react to different ways of uh, dealing with this uh, this type of fusions because so far we've had uh, some quite successful events with the Alistar fusion for example but uh, probably being a gacha game they are experiment to see how they can still keep the player base satisfied and also increase the difficulty of free legendaries and maybe make them feel a little bit more rewarding but at the same time make them more money so it is kind of a, pff, i don't know how to even call it um maybe it is a bit kind of sneaky 
but at the same time it's not too bad it's not that bad i've seen some worse stuff happen um so as far as i know moonton also has been sold to another uh, company or provider i might be mistaken i don't take everything i say in regards to this with a grain of salt but i think moonton might be in a place where they are trying to prove themselves profitable so moves like this might be uh, more common because they need to show that they can make a little bit more money and some people will want to skip ahead of time and not farm so many huge stamina potions not bother so much with what uh, what resource they should save and when to save and what to use them on and they would just buy themselves out of every single problem they have and there's nothing wrong with that don't get don't don't uh, cut my throat for saying this if you have the means go for it but what i'm i guess what i'm saying is this is going to provide moonthon moonton with a little bit more money um from the people that um, want to spend them in this way so what should we expect from moonton in the future i don't think if this uh if we do not like this one and we actually talk about it and we give moonton feedback i don't think they should they will stick with stuff like this but uh, i do think they will do what's right and i do think we should uh, actually trust Munton in regards to this but uh, also um we need to talk about it communication is all it's one of the best things in life <laughs> i would say in relationships of all of all types and uh, this is exactly what we we gotta do here as well if we dislike the way Munton is treating the new current fusion system or free legendaries that they are giving we should uh, tell them we should uh, give them feedback because feedback from the community and especially um, through content creators or uh, whatever means that we have is very important so um, I do think this is a step downwards a little bit uh, I don't think there's something to be worried about but uh, I will actually try to give you some advice after this uh, guild boss fight in order for you to actually have a little bit more hope and not necessarily hope but have a little bit more clarity in regards to how you should spend your resources and uh, more wisely if you have a limited amount of them so uh, let me quickly get to 18k i'm gonna stop i will stop the fight and then uh, quit it so i can just um, get right into it okay so Moonton actually and Watcher as a game has quite a very nice way of guiding the player base towards what content sh we should do and how uh, we can use that content to receive more rewards. So for example I've talked in uh, previous videos of mine uh, as about how to actually get as many rare summoning crystals as you can in about 6 to 8 weeks. I'm, uh, uh, pinpoint that video to you uh, right now but uh, that's not about that it's about the similarities uh, with that strategy and the strategy that you should adapt right now in order to get as many um, as many dragas as you can to get Crotor so Draga in, its, in itself as a hero is quite a good uh, epic it's one of the epics that uh, actually scale off of defense which is not bad at all but it's not the greatest either but it's quite a good hero so uh, what I talked in uh, in that video before is using the Oracle Trials in order to guide yourself um, in the timings of Watcher's content. So right now what I think is going to be very important, especially if you have limited resources, is to not compete for the first place in the Oracle Trials, but actually try to get it at least up until the point you get uh, Go, Go Grand, right? So as you can see here, I've only achieved uh, 2,860 points. I will go up until the 4k mark almost to get the last reward. But you can actually stop at 1850 and that should be enough, right? So you do that ex with the hero training as well. Uh, go up until 2,250, get your crow door and wait for the next one make sure to look in the event tab and see what other events or future events are going to provide you with more crowdors for example 
as you can see there's a currently there is a brave conquest active and will be active for the upcoming two days um and if you reach 4000 points get the crowdor here as well um tale of the smith didn't doesn't have a crowdor because it started before the event with crowdor with the crowdor fusion uh event started um so there is no cochran here but look out for as many events as you can over here probably they will start a new immortal codex that's going to have in the shop more crowdors crowdors uh more go grants sorry i keep making i keep mistaking the names um and as you can see in the event tab we will have this duel of champion and brave conquest um that's going to provide us with more crowdors so this is going to be a hard one right because we don't actually know how many uh, go grants we will like, will be able to get but uh, if you follow this Moonton has usually been quite generous with uh, its player base and quite receptive and i don't think that they would actually not allow you to um get the crowder fusion by farming what they place in the event temp and the in the oracle trials uh and just by doing that so if you just do that i think you should be able to get crowder um so yeah that's going to be it do not worry too much about it just do the content as usual and stop at the point where you get crowder each and every time um if you think you have more resources you can go and uh, go the go full send and reach final rewards and even if you want it if you think you have enough resources for future events go for the first place but uh, i wouldn't recommend it in that time um other than that let me know how many go grants you've gotten so far in the comments below let me know what you think about this new fusion system that they have provided for free legendaries i'm really curious let me know what you think about crowdor i haven't looked properly into, into his kit i saw that fastidious actually did a video in which he used crowdor for the new gear 8 4 that's going to come up soon i'm really excited for that too but uh, i'll look into him a little bit more i think he is a decent tank nonetheless uh, he's also defense scaling that's a little bit sketchy but uh, it is what it is i prefer hp based uh, main stats for for tanks but uh, yeah let me know again what you think let me know in the comments below um let me know if you enjoyed this video and if you find him find it helpful this has been um, andy event horizon gaming see you guys have a nice week Thank you.